Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's learn how to multiply decimals by tens, hundreds and thousands. So let's take a decimal number first. Let's say we have a number like 3.216. Okay, so I have this decimal number 3.216 and what I want to do is I want to multiply this number by 10 first and find out what that is equal to okay so let me first take a place value table and show to you how we actually do multiplication okay so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna put this number 3.216 in this table okay so let's do that I put 3 here because 3 is in the ones place then I have my decimal point which is this DP then I have the 2 which is in the tenths place because it's the first place after the decimal point right so 2 is in the tenths place then we have the 1 in the hundredths place and the 6 in the thousandths place okay the third place after the decimal point all right so we have placed this number 3.216 in the place value table and what we want to do is we want to multiply this number by 10 so let's do that we multiply it by 10 okay and then we want to find out how much that is equal to. So we want to find out what is 3.216 times 10 equal to. Now when you multiply number 1 by number 2, what you do is you actually take every single digit of the first number and multiply it by the second number, right? So if 3.216 is my first number and 10 is my second number, then what I'll do is I'll take every single digit from right to left in the first number and multiply it by 10, right? So 3.216 times 10 means that I multiply 6 by 10, then I multiply 1 by 10, then I multiply 2 by 10, and then I multiply 3 by 10. So that's what we're going to do. So let's do that. So 6 thousands times 10 is nothing but 60 thousands, right? So we put that down here. So 6 thousands times 10 is 60 thousands and we put it under the thousands column. Then how about 1 hundredths times 10? Well, 1 hundredths times 10 is 10 hundredths. So we put that here in the hundredths column. Then we have 2. So 2 tenths, okay? 2 tenths times 10 is nothing but 20 tenths. So we put that down here, 20 tenths, okay? Then we have the decimal point, so we put the decimal point here. Then we have the last digit, which is 3. So 3 ones. Now 3 ones times 10 is 30 ones. So we put that down here, 30 ones. All right, now let's see what we have got. Well, what we've got is we've got 60 for the thousands place, we've got 10 for the hundredths place, we have 20 for the tenths place, and we have 30 for the ones place. But we need to simplify them because there are two digits for each of these places. So let's simplify. Well, what is 60 thousands equal to? Well, 60 thousands is nothing but 6 hundredths. So what we do is we move this 60 one place higher in the place value table. So 60 thousands becomes six hundredths right so sixty thousands is equal to six hundredths how about ten hundredths well this ten hundredths over here is nothing but equal to one tenth so this ten hundredths is equal to one tenth so we put that here this is equal to this guy over here is equal to one tenth how about this twenty here well this twenty tenths is equal to two ones so this 20 over here becomes 2 ones. And this 30 over here, 30 ones is equal to 3 tenths, right? So 30 ones is equal to 3 tenths. So you put that over here. So what you've got now is you've got 3 for the tenths place, 2 for the ones place, then the decimal point over here, then 1 for the tenths place and 6 for the hundredths place. So the number becomes 32 0.16. So what you see here is 3.216 times 10 is equal to 32.16. Now as you can see you have the same digits in both these numbers in the decimal number that you were given and in the answer that you have found. So there's 3216 here in the decimal number that you were given and there's 3216 in the answer as well. The only thing that has changed is this guy over here, this decimal point. It has moved one place to the right. So that's the simple trick of multiplying any decimal number by 10. All you have to do is move the decimal point one place to the right. And one place because there is 
one zero in ten. So when you're multiplying 3.216 by 10, all you do is you move this decimal point one place to the right to get 32.16 as the answer. Now how about if you were multiplying 3.216 by 100? Well, apply the same rule, but this time instead of moving this decimal point one place to the right, what you do is you move it two places to the right. And two places because there are two zeros in the number 100. So what you get as answer is you get 321.6, which is 321.6. Actually, let's do that in the place value table. Let me clear all this from here. And this time, instead of multiplying by 10, what we're doing is we're multiplying this by 100. So this is times 100. Well, when you multiply 6 thousands by 100, what you get is you get 600 thousands. Then you multiply 1 hundredths by 100 and what you get is you get 100 hundredths. Then 2 tenths times 100 is 200 tenths. And 3 ones times 100 is 300 ones. Now we know that we can simplify each of these and what we get this time is this 600 thousands is nothing but equal to 6 tenths. So this is equal to 6 tenths. It moves two places higher in the place value table because there are two zeros here, right? So it moves two places up in the place value table. Now this guy over here, this 100 hundreds is nothing but one ones. So this is one ones. How about this 200? Well, this 200 tens is nothing but two tens. So this is two tens. And this 300 ones is nothing but three hundreds, right? So we have three here. And this decimal point is where it belongs. So 3.216 times 100 is equal to 321.6, which is the same as what we had here. All you do is you move this decimal point two places to the right. Okay, and what you get is you get 321.6. Okay, now if you were multiplying 3.216 by 1000, then as you would have guessed by now, all you would do is you would move this decimal point over here three places to the right. So three places to the right would mean that the decimal point would come after six. So you would have the answer as three, two, one, six point, and then you can add any number of zeros. So 3.216 times thousand would be three, two, one, six, so 3,216. And in the place value table, what would happen is there would be one more zero over here. Strike this out. So you will so you'll be multiplying 3.216 by 1000 and there would be one extra zero over here, one extra zero over here, one extra zero over here and one extra zero over here. Okay, then let me clear all this. And what you would have is this 6000 thousands would be equal to six ones. And this 1000 hundreds would be equal to one tenth. This 2000 tenths would be equal to two hundreds and this three thousand ones would be equal to three thousands and there will be decimal point here and as you know you can follow it by any number of zeros without actually making any difference to the value of this number so 3.216 times thousand would be equal to 3216.0 so all you have to do is you have to remember that when a decimal number is multiplied by thousand its decimal point moves three places to the right okay three places because there are three zeros in the number thousand and if you're multiplying a decimal number by hundred you would move the decimal point two places to the right because of the two zeros in the number hundred and for ten you would move the decimal point only one place to the right as there is only one zero in the number 10. Now this is very simple because you're multiplying only by 10 or 100 or 1000 but what if the number given to you is not as straightforward as 10 or 100 or 1000. For example, actually let me get rid of all this first. For example, if you're given a number like say again 3.216 and this time instead of multiplying it by 100, say you have to multiply it by 200, then how would you go about doing that? Well, what you would do is you would take this number, 200, okay, take this number and split it. Split it how? 
Well, first you keep this number 3.216 as such. So 3.216 stays as such. And this 200 becomes 2 times 100. Okay, because 200 is equal to 2 times 100. So what you do is you split up 200 into 2 times 100. Then what you do is you do 3.216 times 2 first. Okay, so you multiply 3.216 by 2 first to get, let's see what that's equal to, 3.216 times 2. Well, that's equal to 12, 1, 2, and 3. 2 times 2 is 4, then the decimal point, and 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so the answer is 6.432. So 3.216 times 2 is 6.432. Then all you have to do is you have to multiply it by 100. And you know that to multiply it by 100, all you have to do is move this decimal point two places to the right because there are two zeros in the number 100. And when you do that, what you get is you get 643.2 as the answer. So 3.216 times 200 is equal to 643.2. All right, I think that's all I'm going to cover in this lesson. I hope you understood what I've taught and I hope that now you'll go back and do some practice because practice makes perfect. So as usual, go to www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.